Hello, I'm Chris Menard. I had a question concerning my video about Zoom's waiting room. The waiting room works whether you have the basic Zoom account, which is free, or whether you're on a paid account, you've got the waiting room. But one feature that's different that you can do with the paid account that you cannot do with the basic or free account is customize the waiting room. This is a great feature, so let me show you how to do it. I've already signed into Zoom on the web, zoom.us. I've already put in my information, settings, and then after you go to settings, I'm going to scroll down. I tell you what, I'm just going to do control F. Look for the waiting room, and here's what's different. I'm signed into my paid account. I've got a free account too, but I'm in the paid account right now. So I can turn the waiting room on and off, no problem. I can reset it. By the default, I don't know if you recall this, I did a video a couple weeks ago, because today's May 6th, Zoom has enabled the waiting room by default. So if I turn it off, notice it actually says reset. So default, the waiting room is turned on. You can turn it on and off per meeting with Zoom. The features I have though for customizing the waiting room, which are down here, you do not have with the basic or free account. So this is really cool. Customize the title, logo, and description of your waiting room, and then I'll show you what this looks like. So sure, I'm gonna click. This is the default look for the waiting room. There's no logo, there's no description. I'll show you also how the default looks when someone actually comes into the waiting room, but I'm gonna customize mine, and I'll show you this one too. So, two, two different images you may wanna have in your waiting room. One is your company logo, that would be a good one. The second one I can think about is maybe a picture of you, so people know they're in the right waiting room, even though it does have your name. Please wait, the meeting host will let you in soon, that's the default. I could come and change this, just so you know that. I'm gonna leave that the way it is. Your meeting topic will be the subject of your meeting. I can change the description, but let's go do the logo first. I've already got some images pulled up. Here's my logo, hit OK, it puts the logo in. I'll hit close and that's it. If I wanna put my image in here, click. Find an image, I've got one that's 300 by 300. In case you're wondering, the maximum is 400 by 400. But here's 300 by 300, click. And it works, just to test this, I'm gonna throw one in that's 600 by 600 and see what it says. And there's the error message at the bottom that it can only be, um, the height is 40 pixels and cannot exceed 4. 100 pixels, so 600 by 600 clearly doesn't work. Let's go with the logo though, everything's good. I could put a description in here. If you were a physician or a, um, and you were doing telehealth, you might put in what's gonna be covered during your video conference with the patient. And by the way, the waiting room would be the way to go if you were a physician. If you were a college professor, you might wanna be what advisement you can give to students while they're in here. Maybe a number to reach you if they're having issues or something uh, later. So I'm just gonna leave that, here I'll test it. VM virtual meetings, I don't like typing. I'm gonna hit close. So let's see if this works. So there is no save, I'm done. So to test this, since I'm the host and I need to show you what it looks like for someone coming into your waiting room, I'm gonna start my meeting as me, the host, with my phone. And then I'll come in and join on my computer so you can see this. So here we go. I'm going to start a meeting. I'm going to join the meeting as a participant. So I, even if I had this link, this would work. Mary, I'm making up a name, I don't care. Uh, when I hit join, I should go into the waiting room. There is my waiting room. Logo in the top. 
Chris Menard's personal meeting room because that was the title of my meeting, in case you're wondering about that. And there is that description down below. You can be a little more descriptive than that. I was just testing it, but clearly it's working. In case you're wondering what does the waiting room look like if you don't do this, meaning if you're with the basic or with the free account. I've already done a screenshot of it. This is how it looks right here when you go into zoom.us. Notice there's no option to customize it. And here's how it looks when someone comes into your waiting room if you have a basic or a free account. So this is the default anyway, even if you have the paid account. So I do recommend you go and customize your waiting room. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you don't know how to use the waiting room at all, like how to use this waiting room, just go do a search, Zoom Chris Menard. Um, sorry, Zoom Chris Menard waiting room. Bam, there you go. Thank you. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Keep the comments and questions coming. Have a good day.